Income inequality is high and increasing in the majority of countries. Um, there are three main narratives that try to explain why income inequality has been increasing in the last couple of years. The first narrative is about technological change. It's the idea that robots are replacing humans and therefore income inequality has been increasing. The second narrative is related to the change in the bargaining power of labor in relation to capital. I'm talking now specifically about the decline in the wage share and our research shows that the decline in the wage share is strongly related to a deterioration in bargaining institutions, among them a decline in union density in the majority of countries, a reduction in social welfare expenditure, um, minimum wage that have not not been keeping up with um, the, the development of, of average wages in different countries. And these processes have led to an erosion of the bargaining power of labor and therefore to an increase uh, in income inequality, a reduction in the wage share. Another argument that is particularly relevant is globalization. Um, and here we find that it is the globalization, the mobility of capital in particular, and not so much the mobility of labor that had an impact on uh, income inequality. Unions and collective bargaining play a massive role to uphold the bargaining power of labor. Unions can also be used to regulate negative effects of migration. If union density is strong, if unions are strong, migrants cannot push down the wages in the market. And this would be a way to um, recuperate what has been lost in the recent years in terms of the wage share. Our research done, um, so our research with uh, Eslim Onuran has analyzed the determinants of the wage share and research by Eslim Onuran, um, Thomas Obst and Maria Nicolaidi also finds that if we would increase the wage share, the economic effects would be more positive than negative and would lead to an increase in the growth rate rather than a reduction in the growth rate as is usually assumed by many uh, mainstream institutions.